हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ क्रैशिंग क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एज द फॉलोइंग इंफॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल अबाउट द वेरियस एक्टिविटीज ऑफ नेटवर्क्स प्रोजेक्ट ओवरहेड कॉस्ट इज रुपीज टू थाउजेंड पर वीक डिटरमाइन द ऑप्टिम कॉस्ट एंड ऑप्टिम ड्यूरेशन नाउ इन दिस टेबल एक्टिविटी इज गिवन normal duration in week normal cost in rupees crash duration in week and crash cost in rupees is given now we have to solve this question first of all we need to find the cost slope for which we need to find the delta c delta t and cost slope value now delta c will be equals to the crash cost minus normal cost so here 7000 minus 4000 will be equals to 3000 similarly 8000 minus 5000 equals to 3000 and 10000 minus 8000 equals to 2000 now delta t can be determined by subtracting the crash duration from the normal duration and it will be equals to 4 minus 3 equals to 1 8 minus 7 equals to 1 and 5 minus 3 equals to 2 now cost slope can be determined by dividing the delta c by delta t it will be equals to 3000 it will be equals to 3000 and it will be equals to 1000 now we will draw the diagram as per the condition given in the question that is the network diagram according to this question event 1 is shown here event 2 is shown here and event 3 is shown here now here the normal duration will be 4 and crash duration will be equals to 3 here 5 and 3 and here 8 and 7 now we will calculate the value of te tl and slack here that is te tl and slack similarly we can determine the value of te tl and slack now we will determine the value of te tl and slack on event 2 similarly we can determine the value of te tl and slack on event 3 now te will be equals to 0 for first event and 0 plus 4 will be equals to 4 for event 2 similarly 4 plus 5 equals to 9 from second event and 0 plus 8 equals to 8 from first event so the maximum of both this will be the te for event 3 so it will be equals to 9 now tl is not given in the question so we will take it as equals to te that is 9 similarly we can determine the value of tl for event 2 it will be equals to 9 minus 5 equals to 4 similarly we will find the tl value for event 1 it will be equals to 4 minus 4 from event 2 equals to 0 and 9 minus 8 from event 3 equals to 1 now the value of tl will be the minimum of both this value so it will be equals to 0 now we can find this slack value by subtracting the tl and te it will be equals to 0 0 and 0 now we have to join that event which is having zero slack so these events is having zero slack so that is known as the critical path now total duration of this project will be equals to 9 weeks which is shown here so direct cost will be equals to the sum of all the direct cost that is 4000 plus 5000 plus 8000 and it will be equals to 17000 that will be the direct cost now we will find the indirect cost indirect cost is already given in the question it will be equals to rupees 2000 per week so we will multiply here 2000 into 9 week it will be equals to 18000 now the total cost will be the sum of direct cost plus indirect cost so it will be equals to 17000 plus 18000 after adding both this value we will get the total cost as 35000 that will be the total cost of this network
now the cost slope of activity 2 3 is minimum so we have to crash activity 2 3 by 2 weeks because its crashing potential is only 2 week that is 5 minus 3 so it is having crashing potential of 2 weeks but if we crash it by 2 weeks then our critical path will change from 1 2 3 to 1 3 so we don't want to change the critical path that's why we will crash activity 2 3 by only 1 week now the new project diagram will be like this that is 1 that is 2 and the last one will be 3 and we can directly connect 1 and 3 also now here the normal duration is 4 and the crash duration is 3 now we had crashed the activity 2 3 by 1 week so the duration of this will be 4 and the crash duration will be equals to 3 now it is having the normal duration as 8 and crash duration as 7 now we had find the te tl and slack at all the events now we have two critical path from here that is 1 2 3 as well as 1 3 because from both the path the total completion time of the network will be equals to 8 weeks so total project duration equals to 8 weeks now direct cost will be equals to the direct cost which we had calculated earlier that is 17,000 plus the cost slope of activity 2 3 it has crashed by 1 week so we will multiply here 1 into 1000 and it will be equals to 18,000 rupees that will be the direct cost now indirect cost will be equals to 8 into 2000 because it is given in the question that is 2000 rupees per week so it will be equals to 8 into 2000 after multiplying this we will have 16,000 rupees so total cost will be equals to 18,000 plus 16,000 after adding both this value we will have the total cost as 34,000 that will be the total cost now we have the minimum crashing potential of 2 3 that is 1000 but if we crash the activity 2 3 by 1 week then our critical path will change now we have two options that is we will crash the activity 1 2 and 1 3 by 1 1 week so that our critical path will not change or the second option will be we will crash the activity 2 3 and 1 3 by 1 1 week now we have to find the cost slope for this combination that is for 1 2 and 1 3 and for 2 3 and 1 3 now the cost slope of 1 2 is given as 3000 rupees plus cost slope of 1 3 is given as 3000 rupees so it will be equals to 6000 rupees now cost slope of 2 3 is given as 1000 rupees and for 1 3 the cost slope is given as 3000 rupees so the total cost slope will be equals to 4000 now the minimum cost slope is for 2 3 and 1 3 combination so we have to crash the activity 2 3 and 1 3 by 1 week so our new network diagram will be like this that is the new network diagram when we crash the activity 2 3 and 1 3 by 1 1 week so here normal duration will be equals to the crash duration here also normal duration will be equals to crash duration now we have to find the value of te tl and slack it will be equals to zero these are the te and tl and slack values for all the events now we have two critical path that is 1 2 2 3 and 1 3 now the total project duration will be equals to 7 weeks now direct cost will be equal to a direct cost of the previous case that is 18,000 rupees plus the cost slope of these activities that is 2, 3 and 1, 3. So it will be equal to 4,000. So a total will be equal to 22,000. Now indirect cost will be equal to 2,000 into 7. It will be equal to 14,000. 
Now after adding direct cost and indirect cost, so total cost will be equals to 36,000. So the optimum duration will be equals to 8 weeks and optimum cost will be equals to 34,000 as per the case 2. That is all about this numerical. Thank you students.